Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about extending your active record associations in your Rails apps. So let's take a look real quick at this example. We have a user, has many projects, um, and the project model belongs to a user, and it has this prefix ID, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So let's talk about associations real quick. We have a project model, and we can say, give us all the projects. We have one project, uh, and we can say project where user is the user.last, and it will filter that out in our queries and say where user ID equals one. So it wraps around there, but you can see that. So this is great for querying regularly, but we can use that association as well and say user.last.projects, and it will do the exact same thing. It automatically fills out that user ID where clause when we reference this. And we can ask for the class on this, which you might expect to be the project, but it's actually an Active Record Association's collection proxy. So this collection proxy actually keeps track of some of those things like what's the user ID. Um, and we can even add things to the has many to say, let's say we have a has many for client projects, and this needs to apply a scope like where client is true. And this might only need to be accessible on the user model. We might not even need this on the project. We will have to tell, tell Rails that the class name is project because normally it infers the class name from the symbol you give it. So it would look for a model called client projects, but we have to tell it, hey, we actually just want regular projects and we'll look for client is true to define that. 